Good morning. Morning, morning, morning. I've got a flu job appointment this morning. I always complain every time <laughs> it's time for a flu job, but I still find myself going to have it. Well, the doctor says it's good for you, protects you against all the flu this period. I don't know if um, it has made any difference over the years, because for me, I found out that sometimes, some years when I have it, it knocks me out. I am so ill afterwards, maybe like one week or so. Um, sometimes too, I just feel off, completely off. And then some other times, maybe just a few days, but it's not a pleasant feeling at all. But anyway, here I am. I'm just walking through a part I really like. It's like a shortcut, but it's not really short. It's just that it's got trees. In the summer, I will do some more videos here. When I used to do my... <laughs> do I'm panting because I'm walking so fast. When I used to do my 5,000 steps a day, I like to go on this route. So, yeah, I could take a bus, or I'm preferring to walk, get some exercise done this morning. <laughs> so, anyway, I want to increase my speed, and then I'll talk to you after I've done it. See you. I'm here now, um, waiting to be called. <laughs> um, They looked a bit surprised when I said I came from flu job and I got confused because there was a time I had an appointment and I was one week early. Anyway, I'll let you know how I get on. Bye. Flu job done. Oops. <laughs> so I've done my flu job. The guy is really good. And he said, why am I having it so late? And um, I said, because I'm always thinking every year when it gets to this time, you know, I get a notification like, go for your flu jab, go for your flu jab. And, you know, I start kind of contemplating if I really want to do it. So they start sending not notification from around September, um, October is when it gets cold like this. Um, and then you start getting more and more notification <laughs> reminders. Um, and then my doctor, when I went to, you know, to my hospital, asked if I had a flu jab. If I've had my flu jab, luckily I had booked my appointment at the time. So I said, I have my appointment in January. <laughs> so anyway, he said, bend your hand. So I did my hand like that. Okay, he said, relax, you're tense, relax, 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 I couldn't film it. So, and then while I was thinking about all the relax, 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 he did it. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, and then I didn't know, I was like, is it done? Is it done? <laughs> he said, yeah, it's done. It's not bleeding. You don't need plaster. Um, you can go. So yeah, that's flu job done. Um, something else, when you get to my age, you need to do like a smear test. I'm thinking maybe I should walk this way instead of that way so you can see another view. Oh, that was a bridge I just came off. I should have given you. We'll do it some other time. So, <sighs> I'm panting again because I'm walking and talking and I'm walking kind of fast. So, anyway, whew, breeze, Placida, breathe. So, yes. Um, yeah, so I asked about my smear test if I was due for it. And um, that you do 
every three years. So I'm not due because I had that last year. I had that last year, so not due for that. And if they find anything, they'll always notify you. Um, you always need to do the test every now and then, even when you don't feel ill at all. It's always good for you to check your body. I try to, I mean, I'm in a country where the services are provided, so why not? Morning. So yeah, so why not um, do the test? Um, yeah, and even if you're in a country where it's expensive or you have to pay for it, check your health as much as you can. Check your health. You don't want any surprises. Yeah? You don't want any surprises. So, I'm almost on the road now. Yeah, I, I love this area. I'm going to walk. Should I walk through the river? Go across and walk through the river so you guys can see. Yeah, probably it's going to be cold. Let me cross over. I'll walk through the river. I'll turn the camera so you can see what I see, okay? Okay. So... I do like the environment here. It's very quiet, peaceful. Every year round. The only time we have noise is on the river. It's not just bouncy because I'm walking. Kind of walking uphill. It's freezing cold walking this way. I think I'm going to go back into the road. Ooh, my hands are freezing. So I'm going to stop here and then carry on because I don't want to catch people on the camera. They are walking towards me now. Yeah? So this is um, by the hotel. And I've got fish in here. Sometimes you see the fish swimming along. Lots of fish, big ones in the water. Mm -hmm. Anyway,
So I'm home now and you know, ready to get on with work today. It's stinging where he poked me. <laughs> so anyway, have you had a flu jab? Do you usually have it every year or do you just not have it at all? And how have you felt when you stopped, you know, having a flu jab? Um, I remember meeting someone actually in hospital. He works in hospital and he said he didn't have flu jab for like three years and he was fine. He didn't have, he wasn't ill or anything. And then um, his boss said he had to have flu jab that year. All the staff, everybody was going to have flu jab. And then he had the flu jab and now he's not feeling very well. So what do you think about flu jabs? Do you have them? Do you not have them? Do you avoid them? Um, how do you keep yourself safe during the winter, during the cold? When there's an outbreak of flu, how do you keep yourself safe? Share with me on the comment box. I'm looking forward to hearing your opinion, your thoughts on flu jabs yeah thank you very much for watching this don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed thank you very much i look forward to seeing you on my next video bye for now